Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Check this out. We are in Mars orbit right now. Basically, this is the new Unreal Engine 5 demo that was just released on Fab yesterday that you can download right now. And everything that you're seeing in this video is actually procedurally generated using PCG, some of the new PCG tools introduced in Unreal Engine 5.5 that basically allow you to generate buildings and different types of structures using some of the new PCG nodes. So this is the new space station that you see here. These are some free assets that you can actually download right now on Fab. We are finally getting these high quality sci-fi uh, space station, but this entire space station that you're seeing right now is procedurally generated. That means the hallways, the different corridors, all the different props spawn in here are procedurally generated using, you know, different modules and actually a simple blueprint spline. So here is another little habitat and here is Mars. So let me go ahead and zoom out here and show you guys how this is all set up. So basically this is all that the space station is. We have this simple module. So we have a corridor and these two living modules. Basically, if I actually select this, this is a simple spline. So I can take any of the spline points right over here. And if I alt drag, that will go ahead and duplicate a spline point. And then you'll see the PCG graph will actually generate the entire building corridor. So now we've generated an entire hallway. You can see all the different props that have been spawned in here. And if we go down this hallway, we have, in fact, another living module over here. And check that out. It's all procedurally generated using the new PCG nodes. And if you guys don't think that was impressive, well, this entire building over here was actually generated by PCG using some of the new grammar nodes. So this entire building over here, everything that you see in this building was generated. So all of the walls, this entire like, I don't know, Oppenheimer looking bomb over here is generated by PCG as well as all the stuff inside of it. So some of the new nodes in the PCG system allow you to generate buildings. And then with the generated building, you can sample some of the collisions on the building itself. So the interior to then generate more things inside of the building, like place props down. And in this case, what they've done is they've placed these different posts, lamp posts, and they've connected all these wires to this big, you know, object. And this is all just using a couple of different modular assets. So yeah, these are all the different module props that they're using uh, in the buildings that they've generated. So like I said, this is only just a couple of different props that they put together in a PCG graph. And you guys can download this and check out what the graph looks like. But yeah, these are some really high quality props, actually some really nice sci-fi props. I believe these are part of the Talisman demo, which were already free on UEFN but now we're seeing them in Unreal Engine. But yeah, I really love just the detail in these. These are all nanite quality too, so check this out. This is just super detailed. This is just the first half of this demo. There's actually quite a bit more to check out. But yeah, check out this hallway as well. This would be really nice for creating some sort of sci-fi game. These are just part of the different modules that you can use and what they use to generate you know, the space station, the procedural space station that we saw. So yeah. This is the planet Mars. Let's go ahead and actually check out the planet Saturn. So if I hit the play button over here, we're going to go over to this map, which is basically Saturn. So I can actually zoom all the way out here. And what you're going to notice is there's over millions upon millions of rocks being spawned in. And even upon these big rocks are even more little rocks that have been generated and spawned in. So this is all using a PCG graph, and this is absolutely insane. I believe there's over 6 million uh, different meshes that you see here in the scene at a single time. So if I actually go ahead and zoom out and give you guys a bigger look at the ring, uh, we can actually see part of the asteroid belt beginning to form here. But this is just absolutely insane, guys. Check this out. So that is how many rocks are being spawned in the ring of Saturn. This is just an absolutely crazy demo. And you guys can download this right now and check out the PCG graph, what they're using to actually spawn in all these rocks procedurally, because this is not something that you'd be able to do without some sort of procedural spawning system. Otherwise, you know, just placing all these meshes or having them here through some other method just would not work as well as, you know, procedurally spawning them. So yeah, check that out. That is absolutely crazy. And we can fly back into, and just some fun facts about this. This is over 6,500 kilometers in size. And if we actually fly into here, we should see all the little micro details 
So yeah, check out the tiny little rock pieces that we zoom up. They're all rotated and spawning at different rotations and all the micro details on the rock itself. It's just crazy seeing all of these things be spawned in and it's running at a pretty good frame rate. Like I'm not noticing anything, any stuttering or anything like that. Now, the only trick with this would be, you know, if you were to enable physics or have all these things moving at the same time, then you'd be really seeing some performance issues. But right now everything is static in the scene. So nothing is actually moving or simulating. It's just being spawned in and rendered in and out. So yeah, pretty impressive demo. You guys can actually check out the technical breakdown video which they have on the official Unreal Engine YouTube channel. I'll leave a link to it in the description below. But basically they did a talk over at Unreal Fest this year explaining some of the breakdown of all the new PCG nodes that allow you to do stuff like this, you know, procedurally spawn in millions of different meshes like this. And if we go ahead and just check out the other level again, like I said, they've been updating PCG ever since it was introduced in Unreal Engine 5.2. We saw it, you know, be used for some really simple things like generating a forest with some trees and rocks and things like that. But now they're adding PCG capability to generate full building modules, different types of buildings just by using, you know, a PCG graph. So it's come a long way to be able to go from, you know, generating just a simple forest to creating more advanced procedural structures and advanced procedural graphs. So yeah, that is basically this new PCG sample project. You guys can download it right now on Fab. I'll leave a link to it in the description below. It's just, it's nice to see that we're finally getting these, these high quality sci-fi assets. They were actually free in UAFN before. So we're just now getting them in Unreal Engine. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about this down in the comments down below. I'll be interested to hear you guys' thoughts about this. And that's pretty much it for this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one. Have you ever dreamed of making your own video game? Are you tired of watching millions of YouTube tutorials that don't teach you anything? Well, I was in your same position many years ago. And so that's why I created the ultimate Unreal Engine 5 multiplayer survival game course. This course will teach you step by step how to create a Steam multiplayer survival game inside of Unreal Engine 5 from complete scratch. You'll learn how to create a drag and drop inventory system, a crafting system where you can craft different types of tools and items. We'll create a harvesting system and gathering system where you can chop down trees, you can mine rocks and pick bushes. We'll add a complete building system where you can build a base and a raiding and clans or tribe system so you can raid other players. We'll even add this open world map and show you how to host the game on a server on Amazon Web Services. This course is jam-packed with over 250 course lectures and over 70 plus hours of content to help you get started on your game development journey in Unreal Engine 5. And I made this course because it was extremely hard to get into game development because there was no course like this that shows you start to finish what it takes to make a game. You can pick up the course right now on my website smartpoly.teachable.com or click the top link in the description below. You can get the course right now with a big discount. The price of the course will be raised later on and you don't want to miss out on this limited time offer so take your game development skills to the next level and check out the course link in the description below